Hello everybody and welcome out to another Dice Tower daily unboxing video. Today we're taking a look at Sodalis. Sodalis, Sodalis. Uh, if I didn't know the name of the game already, I wouldn't have guessed that that was an A, so I would have thought Sodalis. Sodalis is a, uh, I like the art on the box. This is an interesting form factor for a box. Uh, this is a, a competitive battle game, basically team-based strategy inspired by Tarot. So this is what the board is going to kind of look like. You, you use your cards to manipulate fighters around on the board there. Um, we did a live play of this back in the day. It doesn't say the number. Oh, it, it, it does right on the front. Uh, 15 minutes per player, 2 to 6 players, age 14 plus. I'm curious to see what this game looks like in its final version now. Uh, after the crowdfunding, after we did the live play of it quite a while ago. All right. <clears throat> so first we got the rule book here. Got that, the moon motif, the moon cycle. All right. Uh, table of contents, listing. You got 11 miniatures. You got the three pieces of the board that all slide together, the different dice or tokens and stuff. Uh, a lot of story about what the different factions of the different people are and everything. How turn order works. Okay, and you, you go around based on team play. You can have two teams of up to three players each. You select your champions. It feels like there's a lot of pages, but there's also not a ton of information going on on each, uh, uh, each page of the book, per se. But I remember that there's like three different ways to win. Okay, so Sodalis is, earned, uh, is won by earning tribute. Tribute is earned by completing a specific task. So yeah, there's a, a few different tasks that you can win. A team that has one of each type of tribute is the team that wins the Trial of Sodalis. Right. Okay. So you earn tributes by different things. Speed, Sight, and Tribute of Strength. Alternate game modes, Glossary. Oh, good. I like, I, I appreciate Glossaries and stuff. All right. Very cool. So that's just a, a nice, easy look in the rules there. Oh, the board is actually one piece. It's not puzzle piece together or anything like that. It just has a trifold to it. Uh, I believe that it's the same on both sides. Oh, got it, got it. There's, uh, this looks like a free-for-all board, maybe? Like, each person starts on their own side. This is like a team-based version of it, where there's the two teams uh, that start on the opposite side there. Look in here. There's a nice tray full of the 11 miniatures. So we've got Devil Lady. Um, I don't know what else to call her, but Devil Lady. You got Dragon Guy. You got Avatar the Last Airbender over here. A ribbon dancer. It's a cool figure. All right. You got Tempest. I remember him. I played him. Uh, he, he looks like uh, he's wearing a carburetor on his head or a Geordi LaForge kind of a thing. Ooh. Priestess kind of a thing. Ooh. Interesting. What species is this? This looks like something out of Star Wars almost, but he's got that cool pose. All right. Waspinator from uh, Beast Wars, if you remember that back in the day. Uh, Battle Wally. Ooh, you got like a fairy butterfly thing going on there. You got Club Man. Eh, Skeletor, I'll get you, He Man. Uh, and then lastly, you got Limbs McGee over here. I don't know the names of these characters if you couldn't guess. But a lot of these are cool, very distinct figures from each other. So even though there's kind of greenish uh, figures, you know, they're different shades of green. And I can tell fairly well the difference between them <laughs> just by uh, whoop, kicking the tripod. Fantastic. This goes this way. Next up, what we got? We got cards. How about a lot of cards? Oh, hey, you hear about, how about this? Uh, these would probably say the names of the different characters. There's a pull tab on here somewhere. Pull tab. Pull tab. All right. Who we got? We got the Animist, okay, who has a, a, a distinct deck of cards. Each character has their own deck of cards, all with different art styles and artists, I believe. We got the Archer. Wouldn't have guessed that. Kind of this war machine looking thing. And you go through your deck 
uh, a few times, I believe. Oh, that's part of the. That's part of him. Oh, that's right. Each one has like a specialty card, uh, as well as their regular cards, and then their main character card. We got the beast. Oh, look at his nasty. Ugh, look at all that. Ugh. <laughs> So you go through your deck uh, a, f a few times, I believe. Good grief, that's creepy as all get out. And there's Beast's special card, Feast. Ooh. All right, so there's Devil Lady, the Damned. Whoa! Yeah, so you can see that, see that there's different illustrations uh, for each of these uh, each of these people. The Dancer. Oh, there's there's the there's the Ribbon Dancer person. Ah. That's, that's pretty cool. Chirugi. All right. We got the Empress. I mean, very different art styles. This one is quite radiant. And there's her special field team. We got the Lover. Steve Miller Band up in here. Um, Devotion. The Sage. Very different. Very different art style. I really like the, the nature kind of stuff going on in here and then the weird cosmic stuff. Woo! Their special power, Epoch. Here's the Tempest. <laughs> Look at Lightning Head Man. He kind of looks like uh, uh, Mysterio from, you know, from the, the Spider-Man comics. And the Eye. And then we got the Undying. The, this one, I think, kind of looks maybe the most tarot inspired i know the whole game is kind of uh, tarot inspired but that one looks really that one looks really neat here's a list of uh, keywords and phrases and range uh, kind of thing oh all this stuff comes pre pre-punched there's a lot of cardboard bits actually so this is going to represent the different uh template or what do they call the different things that you're going for as well as just some like player order tokens like you got the one you can split up into the two teams with it there's enough dice here for each player to be able to roll for different attributes, I guess it looks like. Green, which I think is speed, is a 10-sided die, and then the red and the blue are 12-siders, so that's that's kind of cool. And then I remember, I think the speed one, I think is these tokens that go into the middle of the table, just these screen-printed wood tokens, it looks like, uh, and, and they go in the middle of the table, and you're trying to push and pull it over to the other side, you know, to your side of the board or something. So neat, it's kind of fun to see this as a as a final finished product. So that is just a look here inside of the box for Sodalis. Thanks for coming by another Dice Tower daily unboxing video. My name is Chris Yee. I hope you have yourselves a fantastic day. <laughs>